Here with Southern Connecticut State University men's and women's swimming coach Tim Quill. Coach, the season is about to start here, not this weekend, but next. Talk about the preseason here so far. Uh, well, we're faced with the largest men's and women's uh, swimming and diving program in Southern history. Uh, we have a, uh, a freshman group of approximately 20 athletes, so right now, in the preseason phase of our training, we're just trying to uh, uh, get to know all the athletes on the team, set up some real good training groups, uh, competitive training groups for each one of the athletes. We're trying to get to each know each one individually, find out what their goals and expectations are on an individual level, and uh, you know, trying to uh, figure out the character of a of a program, regardless of the uh, fact that. Um, we have a lot of returners on the team. Every year takes on a different character and uh, trying to get to know uh, what that character is at this point. Both teams coming off Northeast 10 championships last year. Let's start with the men's team. What do you expect from that squad here this year? Yeah, I, I really think with 26 men on the team, a full roster, uh, some nice additions on in the freshman class, Definitely uh, a number of projects, some long-term projects that we want to work work with. It looks like we have the depth to uh, to compete once again in the conference and uh, hopefully look to uh, take our eighth title. Women, again, coming off another uh, conference title last year to extend their streak. What do you expect on the women's side? You know, I, I think I think whenever you're faced with the fact that we're eight and zero on the conference on the conference uh, championship level, the fact is everybody wants to come in here and beat up on Southern Connecticut. I think the important thing for our program, our women's program, is to stay one step ahead of the other programs, the other teams in the conference, and uh, continue to build upon uh, the success that we've had in previous years. And lastly, Coach, a memorable season for Amanda Thomas last year. One national title, two runners-up. What can we expect from Amanda this year, and what are some of the goals that you've set? Well, the greatest thing about this sport is one never knows what's going to happen. The only thing I can tell you at this point is that she had a great, sound, uh, solid year of training this past summer. Uh, competed on uh, the nation's highest level at the uh, U.S. National Championships. A little bit off her Olympic trial cut, she seems very focused and and uh, uh, you know strong this upcoming year, mentally and physically. I know that she has a great expectation for herself, as we do for her, of course. But we'll take it one step at a time. But I would certainly look to see her bidding for multiple NCAA titles at the end of this year, and hopefully add a few of those NCAA records. Thanks, Coach.